Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 64 of Europa Universalis 4. We're in a couple of wars at the moment. We're in a little war with the natives over here in uh, America where we're just trying to grab a little bit more land. That shouldn't be too difficult. I think that's going to work out nicely. In fact, yep, you guys do the siege and they're going to go ahead and do the squashing. Uh, we do have a, another little bit of a war going on over here. And uh, that is a war that uh, Brandenburg started that I decided to jump into because I wanted to stay friendly with them. Uh, I don't think there were going to be too many hostile units around, but we do need to keep our eye on what is going on around here because we don't want uh, too many little accidents going unnoticed. Uh, we do also have... Um, what do we have? Uh, Galatia has a reputation uh, relations of 100. Let's recall that diplomat. We will need to send someone to Nouvelle Flandre uh, shortly to try and suck up a little bit. And in fact, let's go and get ready to do that now. Two days before he comes back. One day and he's back. So we're going to go and improve relations with those guys just to try and stop them uh, wanting to break away from France. So we shouldn't have to fight too hard to do anything in this war because uh, Brandenburg should be uh, absolutely fine on their own. But I'm going to start moving in with some uh, with some units just to try and uh, speed the war along a little bit. Obviously, you don't want to be in wars when you don't have to be in wars. So if there's anything I can do to try and speed things up, I should have probably used Force March there, but... Um, maybe uh, Corsica can uh, hold off long enough. We actually got there just in time and won. So let's go ahead and just, um, oh, looks like the uh, the Hess are dealing with that, so I don't have to worry too much about it. So let me just have a quick look and just remind myself what this war was all about, because I've got absolutely uh, no idea. It's the Brandenburgian conquest of uh, Thuringen, uh, to take Thuringen. Now, which particular province is that? Where is it? Because I can never remember, because my European geography is absolutely terrible. It's this one here. So this is the war goal. And obviously there's quite a lot of Bavarian units around there. Um, so we might have to go in and do some stack stomping later on. What we will do in the meantime is just go over and sit um, sit in there. We'll try and do a little bit of siege. And we've got our conquistador over here as well, which isn't particularly useful. But he'll get the job done. So I don't think I need to worry too much about that. We could probably go up to speed three. Do have to be mindful of this rather large stack that's over here though. So that is something that we do need to keep our eye on. But we should be able to siege out some of these provinces. Do I actually now have a double stack in there? Yes, I do. Um, it's going to be quite difficult to actually get over here. I mean, we could do. Let's move one of these guys back. And I think I'm just going to sit back and see what Brandenburg do. It wouldn't be too bad if Brandenburg did lose a war or two. Because what you've got to remember is Brandenburg are quite big. And at some point they're going to be my enemy and not my friends. We've managed to build that uh, fort in Antwerp. And so that's given us another five army tradition. Which is really, really nice. Uh, reduce overextension. Um, we gain a skill three diplomat. Is it worth it? I mean, we are working on our overextension. Do I need 10 prestige? Not really. And we could colonize somewhere else for some global settler chance, but I've only just started three new colonies, and it's going to be quite some time before they are... Well, they're not even started yet because the colonists haven't arrived. So let's go for this one anyway. We might as well do it just because we can. Uh, we can invest in a new idea. That would be a diplomatic idea. Now, we are going to want some diplomatic power to end the war with the natives, but probably not an awful lot. And this one will give us plus two diplomatic relations, so it's definitely worth taking that, I think. Now, we also want to try and um, integrate the Hess if we can. We're nowhere near uh, friendly enough with them. We're in a war together. We're a vassal. Improved relations is 103 so we'll just keep improving relations until it's high enough to do something about. What we would like to try and do, if at all possible, is offer a, a vassalization to Galicia. So they wouldn't actually take it, uh, mainly because of the distance between borders. They are too far away. A little bit of a shame. They do have a royal marriage with Castile. It would have been nice if we could have grabbed them, but I mean, obviously, we will start taking some bits out of Castile as time goes on because we don't really have any um, aggressive expansion with Castile, so that's not too much of a problem. Uh, how long have Wales been our vassal? Uh, 44. It's not quite 54 yet, so we could go ahead and start annexing Wales quite soon. 
Um, so we probably should go and suck up to them a little. Just going to be a couple of years, though, so I'm not too worried about that just yet. So we'll leave that for the time being. Just keeping my eye on over here, because as you can see, there are a few little um, groups of um, units around. And uh, why should I waste my manpower on a war that isn't explicitly going to benefit me? Let's just have a quick look. I guess we could go over here and um, siege out Bremen as well. I guess that's something for you guys to do. Just to help out, because obviously that means that there's going to be no enemy units spawning over here next to my borders. So that, that's better for me. Uh, at some point as well, we're probably going to have to take over uh, Ashen as well, because they've just got this one single little province here. I don't th They're outraged buyers anyway, so we're never going to be able to uh, vassalize them. Uh, yeah, main, well, they are a member of the Empire, which we could potentially get around, because we do have a positive modifier. Um, but they're, they're outraged against me, and I don't think we could ever really fix that. Uh, plus, which is it worth taking up a vassalization slot for a single province when we could just turn around and uh, annex them completely? Uh, we do have... Um... Now, are you thinking about doing what I think you're thinking about doing? Detach Siege. Select Army. We want the big guy with the leader. We want Forced March. Let's move you into Hanover. Now, are they going to throw in their entire stack? Uh, lose a stability or lose 33 prestige. We're at war, so we're going to be gaining... Yep, they're going in with their stacks there. So we're going to detach sieges on both of these. And we are going to force march the bigger armies. And you guys are going to uh, go in here and throw down. So the big stack's gone in, but we're going to reinforce... We should hopefully get there before the battle ends. And we actually went and beat that battle. Um, let's go ahead and... Uh, can we group up here? Group up, detach a siege, force march on. And uh, we'll try and chase these guys down if we can. Not exactly sure where they're heading. But we're going to go through all of these little um, stacks on the way. And do nasty things to them as we go. They're actually heading all the way down here. But I'm quite happy to follow them. Probably won't get a stack wipe. And we are having to move quite a bit. Probably get the river crossing here. We did manage to catch them. We did unfortunately get the river crossing. Which didn't help matters much. But uh, they're taking a massive loss to their troops. And where are they going to move? They're not moving very far at all now. So we're just going to go straight across here and do as much damage to them as... In fact, we've actually stat wiped them. Fantastic. So we don't need the Force March on anymore. Let's get these guys back to France. Just need to make sure that these guys up here are safe. Milan has announced me as a new rival. That's fine. So we're losing a little bit of cash. Not a huge amount there, so I don't mind that too much. We are reinforcing. Obviously, we have lost some troops, so that's always going to be, uh, be an issue. Uh, we have won a siege. Okay, so we're actually going uh, and winning sieges over here in this war. In fact, both of these areas are sieged out at 100%. So uh, let's go ahead and what we want to do is sue for peace and we want full annexation and send demand. And there we go. So what that's now happened is um, it's given that area to French Louisiana. Why hasn't this become uh, French Louisiana? Oh, because it hasn't actually uh, called yet. And this is French Mexico, I think, as well. So we're doing well. We're getting a lot of blue over here in the United States. So that's one less war we have to worry about. In fact, let us just make sure we pull these guys back. And you can go and sit in this territory, which is technically ours, until we manage to get... Probably that last one will be enough to flip it over to French Mexico. And uh, we'll go back to babysitting the war over here. Not that I think we need to, because I think we've we've crushed the enemy army now. Brandenburg should hopefully be able to just go ahead and... Well, they've already sieged out... Um, sieged out Thuringen, so we should be okay here. But we'll siege out as many provinces as we can. It's possible if I actually um, siege out Munster and... Um, what have we got here? Saxony's pieced out. This is... Uh, oh, they've actually ended the war. I was... 
and they have taken Thuringian. I was actually expecting that maybe they'd have given Munster to me. If I think if Munster had have flipped, it would have worked. So let's get all these guys over into our territory, and then we'll go ahead and uh, and split them up. So what about the Hess? You're still only at 148. We are still sucking up to you. Could go ahead and give you a gift, which is probably not a bad idea. Let's group all those guys up there. So let's go ahead and um, send gift. That'll be enough to increase relations by 25. That's up to 175. Can't get a royal marriage with them, unfortunately, because it's a duchy. Um, so we are going to have to wait for the improved relations to go up a little bit. I mean, obviously, I didn't have to send them a gift because improved relations can go up to uh, 190 when you're already vassalized. But I'm just trying to do this for speed more than anything. Um, so let's go ahead and make uh, another 20 stack here. So we want to take um, 10 of the men. We want to take four of the cavalry. And we want six artillery. And that leaves us that odd little one which we already knew about. So select this unit. You can move down here. And then somewhere else we're going to have an odd sized unit as well. So we've got this one. Um, and we can do the same again. I'm not too sure what's happened to how these units have got sort of split up and stuff. Um, where are all of our units? Oh, we've still got these guys up here. I thought there were some units I was missing. Can you guys get down here? You black flagged, so you should be able to, so that's fine. So if we go ahead here, and we should be able to take another unit and do something similar. So, ten men. Four cavalry. And... Six artillery. There's another 20 stack. You can move over here. And then we'll sort out all the leaders and stuff like that. Gain 50 military power and gain a skill to uh, army leader. Well, we don't necessarily need to use that. There is a potential of a rebel uprising here. Uh, defenders to Great Britain. 2.7 years. Uh, Wessex and Essex, of course. Can't really sit anybody in Essex, so I might have to go and move these guys over to Wessex just to try and reduce the chance of that. Of course, we are still coring, so that is uh, part of the problem there. And uh, you guys should just be able to move into that stack, and that should make that 30 stack that we had before. And it looks like everything is going to be roughly back to normal. 18, 16, 16, yeah, that seems, seems right. Seems how, like how it was before. And that's... Well, the... Ex Progressive expansion is going to start going away. Might need to consider at some point unmothballing the fleet because I might have to get some people over there, or we may even be able to get open borders from uh, from Great Britain. No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't. Um, we can't improve relations anymore with Nova Flander. That's fine. Let's go ahead and recall the diplomat. What is their liberty desire now? Their liberty desire is only twenty seven percent, so that's much better for us. So everything is going well. Now we'll have to consider at some point going ahead and fighting against Castile. Do we have any sort of claim on Barcelona? No, we don't. Let's go ahead and fabricate a claim over there. Which is covert re uh, actions. Fabricate a claim on Barcelona. Start taking some chunks out of them. And that'll stop us sort of eating into the HRE for a little bit. And hopefully let some of the aggressive expansion go away. Um, almost to the point now where we can think about starting to integrate Wales. That'll give us a bit more land over here. Royal marriage offer from Hess. That's interesting. I didn't realise that we could uh, royal marry duchies. That's very strange. Didn't think you could have royal marriages in uh, duchies. Unless that's something that's changed. Either way... We now have a reputation of 200, or well, relations of 200. So let's go ahead and recall that diplomat. And what we can do now is annex the vassal. That will cost us 99 diplomatic power, which is fine. So we've got quite a bit of money in the bank. We could go ahead and build some stuff. Do we need to build any more temples? Obviously, the thing is still highlighted because um, we could build temples on our overseas holdings. And in fact, we could do with building some stuff down here. But we're more interested in getting trade power down here. Now, unfortunately, trade power does use diplomatic power, which I'm a little bit concerned about. But let's go ahead and just put docks in all of these places because it will help out. And let's go back and see what we can build in France that might actually give us some interesting money or stuff like that. 
Uh, we could build a glorious monument, which would give us some uh, yearly prestige. We could build a war college. That would give us an additional military leader. That's not a bad idea, actually. And it gives us extra yearly army tradition as well. Uh, not too bothered about the Navy, although we would like that to get that at some point. Um, I think getting a war college is going to be very, very good for us. So you can go in... Uh, I think you can go in... We might as well go in Ile-de-France, I suppose. And uh, what else can we have? What about courthouses? We haven't got courthouses everywhere. What about manufactories? Could we build manufactories everywhere and get ourselves some nice money? The weapons ones usually give you a fair bit. Weapons manufactories. 8.07. That's a decent little amount, isn't it? Um, let's go ahead and drop you there. That's almost put us out of money, but not completely. Um, courthouses. Do we want to start getting courthouses around, or do we just want to get spy agencies, or just go down to, to town halls where we can? Because um, we could get some fairly decent tax modifiers in some of these places. Okay, that's enough spending money. want to leave some in the bank, just in case we do get called into a war that we weren't expecting. Hopefully we should start to make some progress on... Um, the Hess. Yeah, only 1% per month, so it's going to be quite slow. Doesn't matter too much. Have a free advisor slot. So who has died? It's our uh, our Diplo advisor. So we've only got rank 2 advisors, which is a bit crappy. Don't really need the morale of Navy, so we might as well go for the diplomatic reputations guy. Um, we can invest in a new technology. Now, I'd, I would like to actually try and vassalize Wales more importantly than the Hess. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this because it's going to take quite some time. Wales, let's go ahead and make sure we're improving relations with you. New technology. Okay, that is going to be a military tech. Now, we are actually ahead of time on military tech. Quite significantly ahead of time on military tech at the moment. What am I going to do with those military points? Well, I don't think we have any military ideas unlocked. My next idea really should be a military idea. Uh, also... It would probably be quite nice for us to get um, influence ideas, possibly. Influence ideas can be very, very useful. You get more income from vassals. Reduce time to fabricate. Diplomatic annexation cost is cheaper. You get less aggressive expansion, uh, expansion impact. Uh, better diplo relations. Envoy travel time is much more quicker and you get an extra diplo relation. And um, subject force limit contribution. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Uh, but going to considerable autonomy to vassals in border regions, these March Lords will be able to raise larger military armies to support our wars. Uh, so basically, our, our vassals can hire... Uh, 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 any of our vassals get a larger force limit once we unlock that one. And then we get uh, reduced unjustified demands, which means we can take more... Th in, in a war, in a peace deal, we can take more than the value of the war score more easily. So influence ideas are really, really nice. Uh, but I think I would like to possibly get either offensive ideas or quantity ideas. Um, quantity ideas would give us a lot more manpower, which we're not all that bothered about because I haven't really been running out. But it does give us more manpower recovery speed and it does make our troops cheaper. However, offensive ideas give us like better leaders, uh, reduced recruitment time, um, just better abilities within battle to be honest uh, more siege ability uh, land limit modifier more discipline um i think offensive is probably going to be the way to go unfortunately we can't do any of those until we've actually managed to unlock our next idea group which is going to be level 22 so we, we need to save up a fair bit of admin uh, before we can do that i'm not going to spend any of my military power just yet uh, because it would be a waste we might build a few military buildings here and there, just so that we can um, spend some of it. So, uh, we should have armories absolutely everywhere. From armies, we go up to training fields. It does look like there are a couple of places where we don't have them. Uh, Wessex has now been cored. Fantastic. So, I'm just pausing while I do this because it makes it a little bit easier. Uh, actually, out of money. Uh, we'll need to go ahead, probably, and build some courthouses over here. Um, because building courthouses will reduce the unrest... Um, so that should help with the rebellions. Okay, very good. We've got increased uh, settler chances here as well. There's some extra money. Uh, can we go ahead and um, build a courthouse in Essex? No, it looks like it's already got one. Uh, so let's go ahead and keep building training fields where we can. Our toile would give us extra men. 
So let's go ahead and do that. Soon burn through your money as friends. Uh, what I do need to do, of course, is... I'm not at my army force limit, but that's not terrible. Um, but I'm well, well below my um, naval force limit. So we could go and get a lot more ships. And that's probably something we will work on. So... We'll just we'll keep saving up. I do want to try try and get some of these buildings built because I'm using up military points and that uh, means we won't hit our cap. Got these random five guys down here. I think these are the guys that used to be Navara. Um, Essex is now being um, cored. I think you guys can go and roll in with one of these groups up here. So Essex has now been cored. Uh, we've still got the potential for this. Um, this rebellion to pop. Uh, we do have another mission to choose from. We can improve defences in Essex. We can incorporate Hess. Or we can remove Ashen from the map. Now I do want to incorporate Hess. But I'm not going to do that straight away. An extra 5 army tradition would be nice. So we want to improve our defences in Essex. Uh, which we can certainly do. So let's go ahead and build a star fort. Army tradition is a fantastic thing to have. And we'll always take those missions where we can get them. Particularly when we go to war with Great Britain again. Because it'll make these areas a little bit more defensible for us. And um, we do want to try and make sure that we can get Wales. Wales, 23rd of March, 44. So we can actually um, annex them once we have high enough uh, reputation. Which we don't quite have. But what I could do is send them a little gift. Let's go ahead. Send them 75 gold. It should be enough. They're at 193. Uh, going to go ahead and recall that diplomat. As soon as that diplomat has come back and we can actually send somebody out, uh, somebody else out to them, we will annex the vassal. Obviously, it'll take a little bit of time. Annex vassal. There we go. So that'll take a little while, but at least we'll be able to completely annex Wales and then we'll have another big chunk of Great Britain. So we're really, really chopping them down to size. But that's about all we've got time for on this video. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Europa Universalis 4. And I'll see you next time. Until then, goodbye for now.